I'm Susie Andron. I live in North, Raleigh, North Carolina, and I'm an abstract artist. I rely heavily on texture in my paintings. And I'd like to share with you one of my favorite textural experiences. This is a styrofoam ball, all right? And what I do, after I bleed, is I cut it into whatever shape I wish, okay? You could just use a serrated knife for your kitchen for that, all right? After you've cut it in half, or in quarters, as the case may be, this might be what you wanted, you then use some glue and adhere it to your canvas. After you've adhered it to your canvas, you can then still pretty obvious that it's a styrofoam ball. You can take some modeling paste. Oh, and this is the fun part. It's like icing a cake. It really is kind of fun. And you can create all kinds of different textures. It can be quite smooth if you wish it to be, or it can be very heavily textured. I've even upon occasion made it look as if it had horns. Okay. After this is dry, and it usually since it's varying levels of thickness, just take a day, two days, you'll know when it's dry because you'll touch it. And after that, it's a permanent part of your painting. And you can then go and Color it any color you wish. Oh, I like the little horns. Well, that's a textural tip from Susie Andron. Hope you enjoy it and hope you use it.